Are you wondering what the heck is happening with the tech job market in 2024? Some of the trends that I'll share in this video might surprise you. So stick around because I'll also cover what the state of the job market means to you if you're looking for a new job this year. Hey everybody, it's Yuji from Better Career, where we help you land your next tech job faster and we help you advance in your career. I've been a senior leader in B2B tech companies and I co-founded a global community for tech sales professionals. Because of my involvement in the tech community, I pay very close attention to the job market and I speak with executives and hiring teams at tech companies regularly. Today, I'm going to share the top trends in the tech job market for 2024 and what this means for you if you're looking for a new job now or will be any time this year. The reality is that 2024 will look a lot different than the past two years. And the better you understand these trends, the better you can position yourself for career opportunities. So right now, I'm going to cover four key trends in the tech job market that you should be aware of in 2024. Then stick around because I'll also give you five recommendations that will make you more effective in your job search this year. The first job market trend in 2024 is that unfortunately layoffs will still happen. But it's not all negative. We did did recently hear about fresh layoffs at Twilio and Spotify, among a number of other companies at the end of 2023. Companies will do more layoffs as they right size their team for changing market conditions. That will continue to happen throughout the year. However, the silver lining is that the amount of people laid off is trending lower and the pace of layoffs is slowing down considerably going into 2024. This trend is welcome news for employees and job seekers alike because it means we're trending towards a more stable job market in tech, which we haven't really seen for the past 18 months. The second trend is employers continue to mandate return to office or RTO for short. We saw this with Google, Amazon, Meta, and Apple all announcing mandates requiring employees to be in the office at least three days per week. X, or formerly known as Twitter, even implement a five-day in-office policy. And 77% of Fortune 100 companies operate on a hybrid policy. Now, on the other side of the spectrum, only 13% of Fortune 100s have declared they do not require any office visits at all. To give you even more data, there was a recent study that found that 90% of companies plan to implement return to office policies by the end of 2024. And even 28% of companies will threaten to fire employees who don't comply with these new mandates. Though most organizations agree that the five-day office week is dead, even Zoom, the virtual meeting company itself, asked employees to work in office a few days a week. Remote job postings are way down from their peak, meaning less companies are hiring for remote positions. So if you're looking for a remote job, you might find it more challenging than before. But remote job postings are still well above pre-pandemic levels. So there are still a lot of remote jobs available rel relative to historic numbers. With 65% of workers wanting to work remotely all of the time and 25% considering quitting their jobs rather than returning to the office, there will be turnover at companies that have these RTO mandates. And that can present opportunities for anyone willing to relocate or put up with a commute. If you feel like you've learned something so far, I'd be grateful if you gave this video a like to help spread the word in support of others in their careers. Thank you. Now, the third trend is that hiring is picking up in some areas of the tech industry. Many companies are projected to grow in 2024, and I've personally talked to a number of execs and senior leaders who are planning to steadily hire throughout 2024. What's interesting is according to the CompTIA Tech Tech jobs report, small and medium sized businesses, which make up 84% of jobs in tech have recorded steady employment growth throughout 2023 with that trend expected to continue in 2024. Does this mean that all small and medium sized businesses are hiring? It doesn't. Some are still struggling, but it does mean that the majority of hiring is happening at smaller tech companies. This is consistent with what we're seeing specifically at B2B SaaS companies, where the companies are well-funded, have good products, and are growing their teams for the future by hiring up all of the great talent that is currently out on the market. Another thing to note is that when the job markets are volatile, like they currently are, 
far, people typically want to work for large companies because established companies are perceived as being more stable. We hear this all the time from job seekers that we talk to, and that makes competition less stiff for jobs at smaller companies. Now, looking at specific types of tech jobs, there are some roles that remain in extreme levels of demand in 2024, including artificial intelligence, of course, data science, data infrastructure, cybersecurity, all of which continue to be very hot areas of tech. You can see here that privacy and trust, cybersecurity, data, AI, and machine learning, as well as cloud and data roles and software development roles are projected to make up most of the new tech jobs in 2024 and 2025. With that said, there's plenty of opportunity in a variety of other sectors across tech. So hiring is picking up in certain areas of the tech job market, which is positive news for anyone looking for a new job in 2024. The fourth trend in this tech job market is that jobs will remain competitive. There are still a lot of qualified candidates that were laid off and are looking for new jobs. And there are also many employed workers who are looking for better opportunities as well. With all of the layoffs that happened between 2022 and 2023, that really took a toll on employee morale at many companies. So employees had to deal with the stress of constant restructuring and picking up extra responsibilities from their laid off peers. They're being overworked and burnt out and these folks are now looking for a fresh start at another company, and I don't really blame them. Nearly one in three tech professionals are actively searching for a new role, and 60% want to change employers within the next year. So we're going to see a lot more resignations and more people switching jobs throughout 2024. It won't be as extreme as the great resignation that we saw in 2021, but there will be job switching. Another thing that we're seeing that will make jobs fairly competitive is that in some cases, companies are opting to hire junior level candidates and they're moving positions offshore in an effort to reduce salary costs. And that makes competition for some positions even stiffer. So if you're looking for a new job, there will be more tech jobs available in 2024, but most jobs will remain competitive. Now, based on these key trends in the tech job market in 2024, what should you focus on if you're looking for a new job this year? Let's talk about the five things to focus on. The first is to ditch outdated job search advice like play the numbers game or update your resume for every role. Unfortunately, that just doesn't work anymore. Number two, when you're looking for jobs, consider small or medium sized companies rather than only focusing on big companies because even big companies aren't always the most stable as we've seen over the past two years with mass layoffs at Salesforce, Google, Meta, Amazon, and many other big companies. But like I mentioned earlier, smaller companies are continuing to hire and they're more open to remote and flexible work schedules if that's important to you. In fact, many tech startups are actually 100% remote without any permanent offices at all, so they'll never make you return to office. Number three is that strategic networking is more critical than ever because companies want to reduce their hiring risk. And that means they prefer to hire candidates who are referred to them by other employees or from people in their network. The good news is that you don't need to have a lot of connections starting out. You just need to start developing your network in a targeted and strategic way. Number four is to keep up skilling both your hard and your soft skills because continuous learning is a requirement for tech professionals. Whether you're a software engineer or even a sales rep, you need to keep up skilling, otherwise you're falling behind. And employers want to hire people who are constantly putting energy into their own self-development. Number five is showcase your skills. Don't just list them on your resume. What does that mean? It means create a portfolio of work examples or create a short video of yourself presenting on a topic that is relevant for your target role. That will make you stand out to hiring managers because they know what you bring to the table even before they talk to you. And not many candidates do this and that puts you in a very advantageous position. If you need help with any part of your job search, including how to target companies, how to strategically network or craft a portfolio, that's what we at Better Career specialize in. Feel free to check out our website in the description below. And there we have it. The tech landscape undoubtedly looks different in 2024. It's still a challenging job market, but there are reasons for optimism, especially with layoffs decreasing and hiring picking up. But the job market will remain competitive and we still can't rely on just a good resume and job applications alone. It takes a strategic approach to land a job in this market. The great news is that if you invest energy in building your network, upskilling, learning how to market yourself effectively, that won't only help you in your job search, but it will create a springboard for your career 
So whenever you change jobs or if you're ever laid off, these assets you will take with you and it will open doors for you. Now there are other ways to make your application stand out and get more interviews. I'd recommend checking out my other video on how to land more interviews with fewer applications. I'll also dig deeper into other strategies and tactics in upcoming videos. In the meantime, I'd love to hear from you in the comments. What challenges are you facing in your job search or in your career that I can help you with? I look forward to reading your comments and please don't forget to give this video a like to help other job seekers out there. And I wish you resilience, determination, and a very successful 2024.